My father is an avid ghost hunter. Fucking really? You're yeah. lying. Yep. Yes. That's fucking badass. This is why we yeah. tailor to dads and not and not children. Because yeah. dads will go fucking ghost hunting. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta you gotta talk to me about this. I'm gonna this is oh, interesting. I'm, I planned on it. You'll, and also you'll notice I have my I have my my spooky spooky season garb on. I got this little dark flannel, a little dark yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, let me not get off track. Looking yeah, kind of spooky. A little bit. You wouldn't you you wouldn't want to see me alone at night. No, I wouldn't <laughs> want to. I, I hope you don't take those glasses off because I might medu you might medusa me. Ah, you thought. Nah, the uh. So my dad, he has like a man cave in the in the house, right? And he's got his own decoration. He was a big fan of Kiss. It was still very much is, but he's got all this ghost hunting memorabilia. He's got all these tools. It's fucking sick. It makes him happy. It's a really awesome thing. I've I've only ever been on one ghost hunt with him. I want to go on more, but it was you know as I was coming into college and I just haven't had the time. He worked at a place, he had a coworker. A coworker had a hair stylish dresser. At this point, my dad is two or three years into his whole bit with the ghost hunting thing. And he has a reputation with, throughout the office because it's not like, you know, I, my father wouldn't mind me saying that he's not one to keep things to himself when it comes to, you know, his interests and things of that nature. Not a bad thing, it's just not everyone does that, but he does that. So his coworkers know he's an avid ghost hunter. So he gets brought in to do a hunt of this woman's house. She swears her house is haunted. I'm like, okay. And my it was just like Thursday night or something. I had school in the morning, but my dad, do you want to go? I was like, hell yeah, I want to go. I've never been on one before. He's been doing it for years. So we drive to the middle of nowhere it's in like middle virginia it's a two and a half hour ride and we, we go there i had school that day so we, we go down there at night and the road is this like it gravel you, you turn and it's gravel for a fucking mile and it's just trees and i'm like i we're gonna we're gonna die tonight is how it, <laughs> is, that's how i felt i'm like okay we're going we're going down this road with the sole purpose of finding ghosts I you know I now was it just you life. and him and that's it or was there like a group of people? No, it was it was just me and my dad. We went to their okay. house. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were about to get murdered. Okay. Oh, definitely. I was like, oh, okay. You know, I wrote a letter to the people I loved, and we go, we go, and we you know we're there and we meet everyone. So it's this woman and she has two daughters. Uh, there's one daughter who's kind of a non. She's an NPC in this particular scenario. There's another daughter who her bedroom is the main focus. Whoops. <laughs> Her bedroom is... <laughs> that was for you guys who were not that dads. for you. <laughs> so her bedroom is like... We got like, oh, well, she, that, her bedroom is definitely haunted. So we're there for her bedroom. We're there for the basement. Those are the two points of interest. So we go to the basement first. Uh, by the way, I'm going to... Before I finish this story, y'all are welcome to not believe a word of this. This happened. Believe it or fucking so don't. So you believe this. this. So you believe this. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I ask you a question after we're done. I have a question yeah, that I want to ask. And I'm I'm typically not a big a big believer in this. I did just I've just seen too much. I've seen too much not to believe it. We go into the basement of the house. My dad gets his little tool where you can. There, I don't have all of the the science behind it. Something something. You turn a radio weird. The spirits can communicate through the static. It's a it's mm -hmm. a whole thing. No, uh, yeah, I mean it. I dude, I. I love this kind of. Sh I'm not in. I would never do it. Maybe I would if your dad ever invited me. I personally would never, ever fucking go on my own. But I understand what you're talking about. It's like a little tuner thing, and they can like through the static, you can kind of hear like. Ugh. It's just. It's just like yeah. It's just like a what it. Oh, what it does it like cycles through radio stations. So it's just static. Status, it's. That's. I don't know too much. I'm not gonna pretend I'm an expert. That's what my father is for. He knows more than me. But something, something, you take a radio, you press a, several buttons, and you can kind of talk to ghosts, kind of. So we go down to the basement, and we, you know, determine that there are multiple people there, right? Multiple entities, yeah. Multiple entities. And so one thing my dad always asks is, what happens when you die? Because that's a killer fucking question, right? He goes, what happens when you die? Three different voices. Sex, sex, sex. We go, sex? And they all just go, yeah. And just look at I was like, 
Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. And it wasn't really helpful that at that time I was suicidal and a virgin. <laughs> so <I> can, <laughs> there was other like important shit that we found out, but that's what I remember. It was so long ago. I was a junior in high school at that point. So that's, that's the basement done. We've determined that once you die, you have a really good time. And so you, we go upstairs. So the, the daughter has this boyfriend. And he is long distance, like he's from Ohio or some shit. We're in, you know, Virginia and he's there for whatever reason. I don't know why he's there. The belief is there is somebody in the daughter's room watching over her and, you know, button, 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 push, 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 ask, ask, ask. It is the granddaughter's grandfather. It's the daughter's grandfather, the mother's dad, who's there watching over her. And so this boyfriend is like, oh, that would mean he's heard all of our phone calls, our FaceTime. Me being the prick I am, I'm like, ding, funny. We have this flashlight. There's a flashlight. There's another thing that you can do. The flashlight, when you, there's a flashlight that you can turn. When you turn it, it turns on. But if you get it, if you turn it to a certain point, the, the ghost can produce a charge. I don't know. Again, I don't know the exact terminology, but the idea is the ghost can turn the flashlight on and off as it pleases. So we get it to the point. And so it's the daughter, it's the mother, it's the boyfriend, it's me, it's my dad. The, the, the boyfriend's name is Tristan. Tristan's phone calls with the daughter, name I don't remember, doesn't matter, hasn't been like, they, he, the granddad has been listening in on them. And I just go, uh, hey granddad, if you hate Tristan, turn the flashlight on, boom. I look at this kid, he is pale in the fucking face. He is petrified. Why wouldn't you be when you... When okay, you... okay, okay. Can I ask, did you fuck with him and turn the light on? Did you fuck with him even Bro, more? No, 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 no. No? I was, okay. I was five feet away from the flashlight. Oh, I, shit. I, nobody touched it. No one had it in their hands. It was laid out on the bed by itself. Nobody oh, touched fuck. it. I asked, if you don't like this kid, turn the flashlight on. Instantly it turns on. This kid is fucking petrified and why wouldn't you be because he, <laughs> imagine you 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 get a like a serious like you have very realistic reason to believe that you have beef with a fucking ghost that's, that's fucked, fucked up. up that's, that's this kid up. is petrified he is scared and i'm just looking at him and you you, you know me i'm just there like <laughs> just laughing at him like a dick i'm like oh buddy but it's then you don't realize like oh fuck like this yeah. guy's about to get possessed 